Polls show a majority of Americans want to protect dreamers, young immigrants who were brought illegally into the U.S. They have been allowed to stay under the DACA program. But until there's a deal in Washington, some 800,000 dreamers remain in limbo. Tonight, we have one dreamer story. My name is Marcella Joe. I'm currently a third year medical student at the David Geffen School of Medicine at UCLA and I'm ethnically Chinese. My parents came to Mexico in the 1980s. Uh, there's a really big Chinese population in Mexicali. I had a goal and a dream and I think the U.S. had that to offer to me. Being undocumented and living in a border town where essentially most of my neighbors were working for some sort of law enforcement, especially with the border patrol customs there's a belief that undocumented immigrants are all Latinos are all Mexicans and I think because of that I was able to get by simply because of the way I look even though I am Mexican by nationality effective immediately the Department of Homeland Security is taking steps to lift the shadow of deportation from these young people DACA was life-changing for me. I was able to just find a new sense of freedom that allowed me to travel and just feel safer. I have really embraced a lot of things in the United States, its culture, its diversity. I'm here today to announce that the program known as DACA that was effectuated under the Obama administration is being rescinded. It's such a distant memory at this point. I have not lived in Mexico for a very long time. It's challenging having that in your mind constantly. If I'll be deported, there's definitely that fear that comes back. It's almost like a reminder of people trying to tell you, you don't belong here. But we have to fight against that and say, I do belong here and I have a lot to contribute. The effect of this unilateral executive amnesty denied jobs to hundreds of thousands of Americans by allowing those same illegal aliens to take those jobs. We all want to contribute to this society. We all want to make a better life for ourselves. And I don't think we're stealing jobs when those jobs are out there, you know? I identify as a Mexican, I identify as a Latina, I identify as a Chinese person, I identify as an American. And I'm trying to learn as much as I can with the time that I have right now because I never know when this is going to end. And this opportunity was not, it didn't come easy. And so I'm not going to let go of it easily either. Unless the program is extended, DACA recipients could start facing deportation in six months.